Hello, welcome to the channel Kids Club. Ever since dinosaurs were first identified in the 1800s, they have sparked the imagination and interest of not only kids but also adults. This is a small attempt to make you understand the world of dinosaur and their extinction. Mesozoic Era Period between 225 million to 65 million years ago, reptiles dominated Earth. This period is called as Mesozoic Era. Earth didn't have seven continents, but instead one massive supercontinent was there called as Pangaea. This era is divided into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. The climate was relatively hot and dry in this period. Major portion of land was covered with large deserts. Unlike today, there were no polar ice caps. Dinosaurs, which are the most popular organism of the Mesozoic era, evolved in the Triassic period. In Jurassic period, they become diverse. That means they evolve in different parts of world with wide variety, forms and numbers. At the end of Cretaceous period, dinosaurs became extinct. Meteorologists believed that the Mesozoic era ended after the impact of an asteroid. Let's see some interesting facts about dinosaurs. The word dinosaur came from a Greek word dinosauria, meaning terrible lizard. In 1842, the English naturalist Sir Richard Owen first time used this term to describe these giant animals. Dinosaur fossils have been found on every continent. Most of the scientists believe that birds have evolved from dinosaurs and hence they actually not extinct. All dinosaurs laid eggs usually in nest. 40 kinds of eggs have been discovered so far. Not all dinosaurs lived at the same time. There are roughly 1000 known species of extinct dinosaurs. These are called as non-avian. Evoraptor was the oldest known dinosaur. Classification of dinosaurs is very important to understand and study the dinosaurs in a better way. Dinosaurs are classified as reptiles. Term Archosaurus is used to describe these ruling reptiles. Based on structure of heap, they are further classified as Saurischia and Ornithischia. Lizard hip reptiles comes under the term Saurischia. Some were herbivorous and others were carnivorous in this group. This group is further divided into theropods and sauropods. Bird hip dinosaurs comes under the term Ornithischia. In this group, all dinosaurs are herbivorous. They are further classified as Thyreophora and Cirrhopods. Let's learn these subgroups in more details. Theropods. The meaning of theropods is best footed. They had sharp hook claws on their toes. This group includes all carnivorous dinosaurs, means meat-eater dinosaurs. They moved on two legs. This makes them faster to run behind their prey and grab it with their free hands. Birds are actually evolved from these and not from ornithischia, that is the bird hip dinosaurs. Best examples of these theropods are Tyrannosaurus rex, that is T. rex, and Velociraptor. Next subgroup is Sauropods. Sauropods are herbivorous, means plant eaters. They were enormous in size. Most of these walk on four legs to carry their heavy bodies. 
This plant-eating dinosaurs had blunt hooves or toenails. With their huge legs, they could travel many miles a day. These are the tallest animals that ever lived. Diplodocus and Branchiosaurus are the two examples of these sauropods. Thyreophora The meaning of this term is shield bearers. They had bony body armor that means they contains either plates or spikes over their body. These all dinosaurs were herbivorous that means plant eaters. They had relatively small brains for their body size. Examples of Thyreophora are Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus. Cirrhopods is the fourth subgroup. Cirrhopods are horn-faced dinosaurs. Their hip bone configuration is similar to the modern birds. They were herbivorous, means plant eaters. Cirrhopods had thicker layer of enamel on the inside of their lower teeth. The teeth were uneven with sharp ridges that allowed them to break down tougher plant food than other dinosaurs. Triceratops and Parasaurolophus are the two dinosaurs which comes under the group Cirrhopods. Now big question comes in everybody's mind why all these dinosaurs become extinct. Although the cause of dinosaur extinction is a mystery, some popular theories about their extinctions are as follows. These theories are based on volcanic eruption, asteroid impact, climate change, food shortage, and diseases. Let's study the possible impacts of volcanic eruption on dinosaurs. Toxic ash, dust, and gases spewing from volcanoes suffocated many of the dinosaurs. There is a possibility that temperature must have increased due to massive release of greenhouse gases. Or there is also a possibility of cooling due to sun blocking aerosols into high atmosphere. Extinction may occur due to the poor adaptation of dinosaurs and many other organisms to the harsh and different environmental conditions. What is asteroid impact on dinosaurs? This theory comprises the following points. The resultant ash and dust due to the asteroid impact could have been so thick it must have blocked the sun's rays. Due to this, there might be a steep and rapid fall in temperature on the planet. Without light, plants cannot make their own food. This would have lost lots of plants. So herbivorous dinosaurs starve. Eventually, carnivorous ones would have been affected with nothing to eat either. The impact may have also produced giant tsunamis and forest fires across the globe. This all collectively made very harsh climate which made dinosaurs to wipe out. One of the theory of dinosaur extinction is based on climate change and food shortage. It states that due to the huge asteroid impact and large number of volcanic eruptions, climate must have rapidly altered. Changes in climate would have occurred due to the disruption of wind and ocean currents. It is possible that dinosaurs were not adapted to the new environment and therefore became extinct. Alternatively, these environmental factors affected plants life which in turn created an impact on plant eating dinosaurs which obviously affected the food chain of carnivores. Diseases According to this theory, dinosaurs eventually died out because of diseases. Lot of evidences pointed out the existence of disease-creating viruses 
bacteria and parasites during the Mesozoic era. These pathogens evolved symbiotically with flying insects. This results into spread of fatal infections and diseases to dinosaurs through their bites. Overpopulation led to spread of major diseases among certain species of dinosaurs and eventually to them all. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe this channel.